What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Sean. We're back with another video. Today, I want to review the new Optimus Prime by Prime One. I don't want to call it a hit or miss because I mean it's automatically a hit, but I mean I just want to talk about the statue, the, like a statue preview or something like that. I'll come up with a a cool name to name. It won't be hit or miss, but it won't. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But anyway, let's get into it. But before we do that, make sure you smash the like button, subscribe, and let's do it. So off rip, this Optimus Prime here is, I mean, Prime 1 delivers once again. I mean, we all know, if you know anything about Prime 1, they are going to do a Transformer statue very well. These people live for this stuff. The Prime 1, they were built for this Transformer statue business, okay? Once again, I mean, it's so many different layers to this. Um, I think that the biggest thing for this Optimus Prime is his weapons. Um, I think that's probably the best part about him. Obviously, you know, the, the sculpt itself is flawless. Um, um, you know, his, the coloring of the sculpt is perfect. Uh, you know, the intricacies, you can see that there's layers to his body, obviously, because, you know, different, you know, the transformer there's different layers to it and you can obviously see those in the scope and i think that is phenomenal um but like i said the highlight of this scope to me is the weapons the weapons is what's gonna make this scope or not make it but um you know the standout right um i think the coolest ones to me are the hooks i don't know what you call them but the captain hooks those are extremely dope I love how they're yellow. Um, for some reason, I vaguely remember this scene from Revenge of the Fallen. It's been years since I've seen that movie, but um, I vaguely remember Optimus Prime going crazy with those hooks. But um, apparently, it's been eight years. Um, I didn't, I I didn't know it was that long ago. But um, obviously, I mean, I think the only thing. Oh man, wait, wait, wait! And I didn't even see that they have what appears to be. Who is that? Whose head is that? Um, some type of De Decepticon, is it? I don't know who that is. I can't tell in this picture. But anyway, it looks like there's a, op like a Decepticon's head split in half um, on, the, on the ground, right? And I think that's like a super neat nod to him telling the story of the hooks and everything that's going on. Um, the only critique I can say about this uh, this statue here is the base i'm a huge base guy but i mean obviously the bases i mean all transformer bases look pretty plain um but this one is more so um it doesn't really have to be super crazy because the sculpt itself says it all um optus prime with his weapons and then obviously decepticon's head on the ground on the base tells you exactly what's happening here <laughs> optimus prime is going crazy so, I mean, I can get past the base not being all that, all that, um, all that different. Um, he looks like he has different poses. He has the hooks. He has, uh, he has his, he has his fist with like a sword coming out where he, he, he points. There's one where he points something like that. Um, I think that that was pretty neat to give him a couple, um, different poses. Um, it looks like he has rockets as well. Man, that's really cool. Um, like rockets coming out of his arms like this. I think that's really dope. They give you a number. It looks like you can maybe mix and match. Maybe I'll do a hook and a rocket. Um, I don't know. I mean, either way, this thing is absolutely phenomenal. Excellent scope. Excellent, excellent, excellent. It will be a 10 in my books. Now, the only thing... Um, oh, wow, the base looks really huge, by the way. Now that I'm looking at it, that base looks really wide. So you would need to make sure you have enough space cleared out for him. Um, it looks like he is about, I think they said 28 inches, 29 inches tall. That's a pretty big statue. Um, I don't have my, uh, I don't have my tape measure here, but 29 inches is a, is a huge, huge, huge statue. Um, now the price tag on this bad boy is almost $2,700. That is pretty steep. Um. I feel like 
I feel like they always go steep on the transformer um, prices just because of the popularity and they know that people are going to purchase it, which I mean, it's just basic economics. So, I mean, you know, good for them. But I mean, this this statue is really good. Um, I think that it can uh, it's definitely a compliment piece for um, what was it? Which was it? Ironhide, maybe or someone else. I can't remember. Um, and I think that that would be a good compliment piece. There's um, I'm going to be doing a review of the Jetpack Optimus Prime um, here soon, probably ne the next month or so. So be on the lookout for that. Um, I don't know if I'll get this one. This one's just so steep. I, I can buy probably three statues for the price of that one. Um, probably four, maybe, if you get the cheaper premium formats. But anyway... I mean, it's pretty steep price. I don't think I'll get this one. It looks really, really good, though. Um, I mean, like I said, I can't come up with anything that's wrong with it. I just can't bring myself to say anything's wrong with it. I mean, the, his his body, his sculpt literally looks real. It looks it real. It looks exactly like it does in the movie. Um, they nailed it. I, I wonder how long it takes them Um to make this. Oh, I also just noticed too that he has two different face plates where you can see like his mouth and his lips. And he has like the, the one that covers um, his mouth. I think that's pretty dope. I would do the one with the mouth um, uh, open. So yeah, two different head parts um, there. Oh, there's some LED, um, LED lights as well. The LED lights in his face and his eyes. Um, also in the, uh, the rocket that's in his arm. And it looks like he has lights too, like in his hip area, which I think is really, really dope. That's that's always a um, a plus. Anytime you're getting something like this, I'm not I'm not huge on lights and things like that. They don't, things don't have to light up. Um, I'll speak more. I I like my own lighting, um, so I'll put lights and things like that on on and behind the uh, statue. So things don't have to light up for me. But I mean, if you're into that, more power to you. Um. Like I said, this this is a great this is a great piece. It's layered, looks really good. Looks like they took their time. Looks like they've been working on this for a long time, and they nailed it once again. Twenty nine inches tall. This this is a huge boy. Looks like he's about uh, they, I think they said twenty eight inches wide. Yeah, twenty uh, inches wide with the uh, with the blaster. What more can you want from this exclusive man? This is. This is Prime One doing their thing. So that's, that'll wrap up this talk for today. Let me know what you think in the comments. Um, 10 out of 10 for me. I won't be getting it, but it's definitely a 10 out of 10. Let me know what you think. And until next time, I still need a slogan. <laughs> See y'all. Peace. Peace.